Hello, my lovies. Welcome back. So, as you guys can see by the title and by the card on the table, we are doing the What's Hidden, okay? This is for my Aquarius. Hey, Aquas. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. You guys know that the readings may or may not resonate, okay? If it gives you confirmation, if it is your story, if it does resonate, comment below, all right? But you also know if it doesn't apply, let it fly, all right, my loves? So we're going to hop in and see what the energy is, what's going on behind the scenes, what is hidden, what it is that you're not aware of or that you are aware of, but maybe you don't have tangible proof, okay? You guys know with these readings, um, the sun and or the moon sign is what will show up, okay? So whatever sign comes out, it could be their sun or their moon, okay? Um, I do want to say I hope and pray that you and your loved ones are safe, well, and healthy. I want to thank you guys for supporting the channel and ask that you please continue to do so by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting, okay? So, um, you guys know I'm going to shuffle a bit, then I will uh, hop into the reading. Um, I will um, pull an oracle at the end as well to see how that ties into the reading for you guys, okay? Um, so I'm going to clarify with the tarot as well as the Lenormand. Yeah, I know I love my Lenormand. All right. <laughs> so we're going to see, uh, what the goings on is for you. My water bearers. All right. Let's get it. So we have the death card, all right? Scorpionic energy, Scorpio sun and or moon. We have the page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, sun and or moon. We have the king of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, sun and or moon. And then we have the page of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, sun and or moon. Wow. So, um... Wow. So first and foremost, what is hidden? You're being watched. Period, point blank. Somebody's watching you in secret. Somebody may be watching you from another account. Okay? Somebody could be catfishing where they have made up a... Um, basically a troll account. Made up a, an account so that they can spy on you. So that they can watch you. Somebody may be talking shit about you as well. Okay, with that page of swords energy. Um, for others of you, yeah, what is being hidden, okay, is that somebody is um, putting an end to their flirtatious uh, player ways for some of you, okay? That could be what is hidden. For others of you, what is hidden, you're going to get... Um, I don't want to say it's good news, but it is going to be good news because it's going to um, probably, for some of you, be the catalyst to a transformation or a change for you in your life. Um, so you're going to be getting good news about the death of someone, okay? Um, and like I said, I don't want to say good news, but for some of you, it like I said, it's going to be good news because some of you may have questioned how someone passed away you were always unsure unclear or um really not believing how someone died so this is going to be good news in a sense because it's no longer one going to be a secret you are going to get confirmation about how you felt this person passed away so if you felt like somebody lied about it somebody was deceiving you about how someone died this is confirmation that you're right okay 
listen to your intuition and again this is going to be good news for some um of course it's never good news you know um about someone passing you know um but like i said it's going to be good news for you because it's going to give you confirmation that you were right and for some of you you may end up launching an investigation okay but you may be spending your own money because i feel like this uh death happened a while ago you know um a very long for some of you it's a very long time ago and for some of you with this uh investigation you may um want to exhume the body and you know um it's gonna cost a lot of money but you're willing to pay for it just so that your mind your soul can be at ease about how this uh person passed away what or who was involved okay if any all right i know that's that's a lot but that's literally that may be for like one or two people tops but it's coming up and the fact that it's coming up i have to express that um for others of you what you're going to be finding out is that there is secret communication okay and i feel like it's between two individuals it could be two children but it's between two individuals okay the secret communication um for some of you the secret communication is about um how someone feels about you with this king of cups energy because i feel like these individuals know that someone loves you someone's in love with you and again it's been kept a secret so you're going to be finding out um, about this secret communication what's at the bottom three of pentacles okay so for others of you somebody may be collaborating together working together in cahoots together to try to sabotage put an end to something that you are working on something that is um creative okay it could be a group of individuals. I definitely feel like it's three or more individuals, okay? Um, for some of you, that's what these two individuals are discussing, okay? With that Page of Swords energy. They're watching you, and they're trying to figure out how to end something that you have going on, okay? I feel like, again, it's something creative, something dealing with communications, something that you love doing, that you get a lot of love for, okay um it could be something transformational or you could be um helping to transform people's lives in some way shape or form by the things that you do or the things that you say and i feel like for some of you um you're gonna find out that these individuals have been working behind the scenes to try to put an end to this to try to stop you to try to dead whatever this is that you have going on yeah this is bananas. Um, mm -hmm. I want to see this page of swords. Clarifying that, yeah, see, you're going to get the truth. You're going to get the truth about um whatever this is that's going on whether it's about um the death of someone how someone passed and if there were people involved um or you you know like i said that's not for many people maybe for one two people tops okay um for others of you you're going to get the truth about and you're going to find out about who's been watching you who's been spying on you okay who's been um, talking shit, gossiping, who's been um, working together behind the scenes, collaborating to try to put an end to you, to what you have going on, you're going to get the truth about it. For some of you, you have someone coming in, this person is wanting to clear the air by telling you the truth. So for some of you, somebody in this group or this collaboration is about to spill the beans they're going to tell the truth about what's been going on behind the scenes and who's been doing what saying what okay and this may 
um, be the catalyst to you launching this investigation. Let's see. Yep, see? The truth is going to be illuminated. Can't make this shit up. So whatever's in the dark, the sun is literally shining a light on the truth. Shining a light on the secrets, what's done behind the scenes. And this is going to make you very happy. Because some of you could have felt like, yo, I'm, maybe I'm bugging, maybe I'm tripping, you know, maybe blah, blah, blah. Nope. You're 100% right, okay? And the truth, Ace of Swords, is going to be illuminated to you behind these uh, gossiping individuals, these individuals that may have been uh, low-key uh, taking your plans, your ideas, your work, okay? I just heard videos, okay? So, yeah, whoever these individuals are that have been plotting and planning behind the scenes working together to try to take you down you it's gonna the truth is gonna be illuminated so you're about to find out the truth about who these individuals are what they were saying um and what they were doing okay and i also feel like like i said this applies to the other situation with the death okay and you're going to be extremely happy to find this truth out Okay, because it's going to confirm everything that you've been feeling, thinking, and saying over this period of time that it wasn't settling or sitting right with you. So now you could literally rest at ease. Yeah, so we have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. That's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the Sun card, which is Leo. So that could be their moon, their sun, or their moon sign. Okay, um, there's definitely a couple here. Okay, King and Queen of Cups. Okay, some of you, this is a marriage. Okay, you may be finding out the truth about why uh, someone's marriage ended. Um, or this could be a married couple that is engaged and involved in trying to do this. You know, collaborating together with others. Or... Um, this could have something to do with a death, okay? It could have been a, a married couple and maybe one of the uh, people were involved. So, like, if the husband died, the wife could have been involved. If the wife passed away, the husband could have invo been involved. Or that's something that you guys may have been thinking and this may be what you're finding out with this queen of cups energy i definitely feel like um the universe is, is saying to listen to your intuition the queen of cups is a very intuitive individual um this is motherly energy so some of you this could involve your mother okay um a mother um some of you could be mothers okay this could have something to do with your children um something to that effect um Nonetheless, this truth is going to help you to heal, okay, with this Queen of Cups energy. And I feel like the universe is telling you, you know, really start giving yourself the love that you want to receive, okay? Because that's going to aid and help in uh, the healing process for you, okay? Let's see the Lenormand. Um, yeah, yeah. The sun is literally about to shine the light on the truth of the matter, the truth of the situation, the truth of the illusions, confusion, deception, whatever is done in the dark behind the scenes, whatever is hidden. The sun is getting ready to shed light on that for you guys, okay? Um, I definitely feel like um, something significant is going to be in Leo season and in Scorpio season. There could also be a Pisces and Cancer sun and or moon involved. Some of you are going to be getting the truth about a Leo sun and or moon. Or this Leo, sun, and or moon is going to be the one to uh, speak this truth to you.
Yeah, see, blessings, luck, oh yeah. You're going to be blessed by this news, this information. Um, definitely going to be a blessing. Um, so what do we have on here? The six of diamond, which is the six of pentacle. Yeah, so I definitely feel like somebody's about to be generous. Generous with you with this truth. Um, and I feel like you guys are gifted, okay? I feel like you guys are gifted. And I feel like your gifts are going to be enhanced. Yeah. For others of you, um, let me get the other one. Okay, so we have the ship. So definitely, this is your path. This is your journey, okay? Um, I definitely feel like you're going to be blessed along your path, your journey, okay? Whoever this is that's trying to stop your forward movement, your progress, whatever this is that you're building, I feel like you may be building something uh, with your gifts, they don't even realize they're blessing. Uh, you're getting you're getting more blessed, okay, on your path because this is your path, your journey. You're getting blessed even more because of these individuals trying to stop you. So we have, yeah, look at that, ten of spades, which is the ten of swords. See, trying to betray you and stop your journey, okay, because you're gifted and you're blessed and. You're going to continue to move forward, okay? And you're going to continue to be blessed, okay? They can't stop this. Whatever this is they're trying to do and they're trying to betray you with that Ten of Swords energy, it ain't happening. It's not happening. For others of you, you may have to travel, okay, to uh, get this truth, okay, about this death, there may be some travel involved. What's at the bottom? Wow, look at that. So we have the uh, ring. Some of you, like I said, this is a marriage. There's a, a married couple involved in doing this to you. Okay? Oh my goodness. Or regarding the death, it was the person that, I hate to even say this it could have been the person that they were married to that was involved remember i was saying that if it's the spouse that passed it could be the wife if it was the uh wife that passed it could be the husband yeah this is definitely regarding a marriage so this person that passed away could have been married when they when they uh passed away but yeah i feel like this is also the universe telling you to stay committed to seeking out the truth okay stay committed to your truth and what you believe that took place because it's the truth okay we have um the ace of club on here which is the ace of wand so i also feel like the universe is telling you whatever this is that you do that's uh on a creative level, a creative project or endeavor, stay committed to it. You may have a contract that is coming forth, okay? It may be a little bit in the distance, in the distance, at a distance, but listen to your intuition about this contract because I feel like it may entail you traveling, okay? But I feel like this is positive, okay? Stay committed to whatever this is that you're, you're starting or that you started because you're going to be blessed even more. Oh, I love this for you guys. Um, some of you could be getting ready to get married. Okay. Some of you may have a proposal coming in. Um, you may be getting ready to get married. Some of you could be married. Okay. And you could be getting ready to renew your vows. You may um, decide to do that on a cruise, a vacation, something to that effect. Um those of you that with this ace of one energy if there's something that you are committing to starting uh on a creative level i feel like you're gonna have people that want to commit to investing in you and the product or service that you're providing so keep going because it's very positive oh i like that for you guys absolutely love that for you guys um yeah, but just be mindful. Whatever these individuals are doing to try to put an end to 
or stop your forward progress, whatever this is that you have going on, that shit is going to backfire, okay? It's not going to work. It ain't going to happen. And uh, you guys are going to find the truth out about who these individuals are, like I said before, and what they've been saying, what they've been doing, okay? How they've been trying to hinder your progress, Um and then, like I said, you're going to have somebody that is going to want to clear the air. They no longer want to be a part of this scheme, this scam, whatever this is that these individuals have going on. They don't want to be a part of it anymore because whoever this is, they've been getting karma. And they know that it's because they're involved with, with whatever this bullshit is, whatever this plan, this, this, this scam, this scheme. They know that... That's the reason why they've been uh, getting karma or bad luck, so to speak. They no longer want to be a part of it. So for some of you, that's why this person is coming to clear the air and expose the truth about what these individuals have been doing because they just want to live their life now. They, they want to be happy, okay? This person may have been um, going, feeling like they've been going insane because they've been a part of this bullshit. Oh, yeah. So, whoever this is that's coming to clear the air, they're very scared. They're very scared, okay? They're very scared. But this person that's coming to clear the air, they're coming to tell you the truth. Okay? So, just be mindful of that. Hear this person out. Listen to what they're saying. Absolutely use your own discernment, okay? Um, but... Be mindful. This person, there could be an age difference between you and this individual. And this person could also be a child. Meaning in the, their like early 20s. Okay. Late teens, early 20s. And they're deathly afraid. So this person, be mindful. Because they're going to come to you like a wounded weeble child. Because that's really what they are. And they don't want to be a part of this anymore. Yeah, see, we got strength, courage, patience, good health. Yeah, this person could have been suffering bad health, okay? But this person wants you to have patience with them because they're coming, they're trying to get the strength, the confidence, and the courage to um, clear the air and express this truth to you. And like I said, some of you could be a Leo. We got the lion right here, Leo, sun, and or moon, okay? So we have creativity, security, motherly abundance. Yeah, remember I was saying something about a mother? Some of you, this could be your children, okay? This could be your children, okay? Um, just know that abundance is coming in for you um, with your creativity, okay? Some of you have that motherly energy, and this person that's coming in to tell you this truth, you may end up gaining or growing an attachment to this individual and become like a mother figure to this individual okay you have that uh type of energy going on and then we have using skills creative power personal efforts yeah so the universe is saying um these individuals tried to take your creative power they tried to use your skills okay to seek and gain abundance to try to stop you they tried to use use you against you that's ridiculous but yeah there's people out there that really think that okay um yeah i feel like these individuals have been really putting in a lot of personal effort to try to stop you and they're very daunted because nothing that they've been doing has been working nothing i mean the most that may have happened is you know you got a freaking headache or your vision was a little bit blurry but outside of that mm -mm. it ain't working so the universe is saying continue to use your skills use your creative power to help strengthen and encourage those that are in need okay keep pressing forward on your journey bottom of the deck we have partnership yeah so oh excuse me i'm so sorry guys um this is definitely um, for some of you getting into a relationship, a partnership, a marriage, okay? Yeah, some of you could definitely be getting proposed to. 
um, going into partnership. Some of you may end up working with the person that you're going to marry. Okay. And now at the bottom of the deck, look at that. Going it alone. Listen to inner wisdom. Yep. That's your higher self, your intuition. Remember I said, use your own discernment when it comes to this person coming to clear the air, coming to speak the truth. Listen to your um, intuition when it comes to um, whatever this is that you've been feeling about these individuals or this situation, especially involving um, this this death that happened in the past. Um, some of you, you may need to go at something alone. If you've been in a partnership or a collaboration, the universe is saying it's best for you to listen to your intuition and go at it alone because um, you have your best interests at heart and mind. And for some of you, the people that you may have been uh, contemplating collaborating with or going into partnership with, they may not have your best interests at heart or in mind, okay? So... This is what I have for you. Again, it's not going to resonate with everyone, but this definitely um, is someone's story, okay? Um, nonetheless, continue to keep your vision tunnel. Continue to remain your lovely, but most of all, be well. And I'll holler.